morning. Just wanted to come in and share a quick, well, not super quick, but a nice challenging and not too long mandala flow. Um, uh, so we'll be moving in a circular motion uh, throughout our mat, all around our mat, weaving some different flows into each other like threads of a tapestry, just using our breath and the movement of our body to encompass all that we feel, everything that's going on. So enjoy the mandala flow. We're gonna get started on our back. Bringing the soles of the feet together, letting the knees open out in Baddha Konasana, Supta Baddha Konasana. One hand rests to your heart and one hand rests to your belly. Bringing some awareness to your breath and giving yourself the comfort of touch. Creating a deeper breath and an active exhalation. Nice deep breath in. Go all the way up. Feel the body rise into your palms. Open your mouth, dragging the breath across the vocal cords, making some sound in your active exhalation. And taking one more nice deep breath in. And softly sealing your lips, maintaining that same engagement through the back of the throat, creating your ujjayi pranayam, victorious breath. your hands down to your thighs, draw your knees together, closing the legs like a book, and hugging them both into your chest, making a few circles with your knees, rocking a bit side to side, massaging the flesh on either side of your spine. Right knee will stay into your st chest, stretch that left leg out nice and long, lay it down on the mat, make a few circles through your right ankle. Extend the legs straight up to the sky, interlace your hands, make a little basket with them behind your right leg and point and flex your right foot a few times. And then slide that little basket of your hands up towards your heel. Your chest will peel up away from the earth, shoulders slightly rounded, but still out of the ears. Scoop those lowest ribs in and down and press the leg into your hands so much that you feel like you're going to lift up and you may even lift up a little bit and then soften back down and take a nice deep stretch to the right hamstring. And then take that into half happy baby on the right. Left arm could extend up overhead, creating a nice long line of energy from the left fingers to the left toes. Bring the right knee through center, grab it with your left palm and draw it across your body into a twist. Bringing that left knee back to center, give it one more nice big hug, and inhale, stretch the right leg out next to the left, sweep both arms up overhead, feel the full length and power of your body, exhale, hug the left knee into your chest, and make a few circles through the left ankle in each direction. Extend the leg straight up to the sky, interlace your fingers behind your left leg, create a little basket with your hands, point and flex your left foot a few times. And then sliding the hands up the leg, drawing your chest 
away from the mat, plugging the shoulders out of your ears and then pressing the leg into your hands, creating a P and F stretch here. And then release that engagement and take a passive stretch through that left leg. Drawing it into half happy baby on the left, engaging a full line of energy from right toes to right fingers. As the left knee draws to center, grab it with your right palm and draw it across into a twist. And bring it back to center. Give it one more nice big hug. Inhale, stretch out nice and long. And exhale, hug both knees into your chest. Slide the hands to cradle your skull very gently. Extend the legs straight up to the sky and then scissor them slightly. So the right leg comes towards you, the left leg extends out and then hug your inner thighs to the midline so that they make a little X, right? Crossed at the thighs. Lift your left elbow up towards your right knee and then we'll make a big circle with the legs. So take them out away from each other and then to cross left over right, and your right elbow will lift up towards your left leg. It's a little hard to get at first, but really powerful making this circle in opposite direction with your legs and take talking from side to side with your shoulders. Just move with your breath a few times, open the legs out to a straddle, and then bring them to cross, just switching the leg that's on top, creating this big circle that encompasses everything that comes up, learning to thread it all together in a beautiful tapestry of breath and movement, of emotion and experience. And one more time with the left elbow towards your right leg and then bring it back to center, releasing your head down. Slide the hands around to the back of the thigh. Start to rock and roll the length of your spine. Give it a nice massage. We'll meet in a standing forward fold. So any assistance you might need to get there, if you need a pit stop and seated, take that. And as you come to your forward fold, sway a little bit side to side. Just allow some organic movement. Shaking the head no, not a yes. Roll the shoulders, rock your weight forward and back. And then settle into some stillness. Give your legs a nice big hug. Pressing down through your feet as you inhale. Circle the arms out and up. Come all the way to stand. Heel toe the feet underneath you. Settle the palms at heart center. Soften your gaze. Close your eyes. Offer your ego a beautiful gesture of friendship. Allow it to become a little quiet. You might open to whatever the work is today. This beautiful mystery of the unknown. Getting our mandala flow. And just seeing that even when it doesn't seem that way, everything is connected. Release your arms down by your sides. Inhale, circle them out and up, and then exhale, take a standing twist. Right arm in front of you, left reaches back. Using your core, your obliques to keep the hips facing forward. Inhale, sweep both arms up. And exhale, twist in the opposite direction, left arm forward, right back. Stay here and draw the right knee up towards your left elbow. Take a nice big step and a quarter turn to your right, facing the long edge of your mat. Side stretch, right hand slides down your thigh, left arm reaches up and over. Inhale, come on up through center and exhale, side stretch to your left. Inhale up through center, windmilling the palms to surround your right foot. Step to plank shape, top of your push up. And exhale, lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, lifting your heart. And exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, lifting your hips. Last breath here, gazing to your fingertips. 
step or float feet to your hands. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold forward. Inhale all the way up to stand. Exhale, reach the right arm in front of you, standing twists. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, left arm extends in front of you. Right knee hugs to your left elbow. Big step back and a quarter turn to the long edge of your mat. Exhale, side stretch to your right. Inhale, through center. Exhale, side stretch left. Inhale, through center, windmilling the palms to surround your right foot. Moving through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heart and exhale, lift your hips. Two to three breaths here. Gazing to your fingertips, feet travel to your hands. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold forward, circling in the opposite direction. Left arm comes in front of you, right extends back. Inhale, sweep it up. And exhale, bring the right arm in front of you. Weight through your right heel, left knee hugs up towards that right arm. Big step back, side stretch to your left. Inhale through center, exhale, side stretch right. Inhale through center, wiggle your palms just around your left foot. Moving through your vinyasa, exhale, bending at the elbows, lower half all the way to the earth. Inhale, lift your heart, and exhale, lift your hips. Gazing to your fingertips, feet travel to your hands. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, all the way up to stand. Left arm extends in front of you, right reaches back. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, twist, left knee to your right arm, step it back, find the long edge of your mat, side stretch left, inhale through center, exhale, side stretch right, inhale through center, exhale, windmill your palms to surround your left foot, and make your way through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. The bottom of your exhale, Feet travel to your hands, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, iron out your spine, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale all the way up to stand, starting with the right side, right arm reaches forward. Inhale, sweep it up, exhale, left arm forward, hug that right knee towards the left arm, big step back, side stretch to the right. Inhale through center, exhale, side stretch left. Windmill your hands to surround your right foot at the back of the mat, making your way to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your left heel to the sky. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose. Place your left foot between your palms. Soften the right knee down. Keeping those right toes tucked under. Unless it hurts your knees, sweep the arms up. Low lunge. Hugging the tailbone forward towards the pubic bone. Exhale, snuggle your hands to interlace at your low back. As you breathe in, roll the shoulder open. Lift the chin away from your chest. Open their Vishuddha Chakra. Sweeping the palms to surround your left foot. Shift your hips back in half splits. Maybe the sit bones come all the way to the right heel and the right hand engages to the pinky edge side of your left foot. Stay with me here. Turn to your right. We'll swivel on that right shin. Left hand connects with your left leg. In gate pose, sweep that right arm out over your ear. Little spiral of your rib cage to the right and up. Exhale your right hand to the top of the mat. You're in a supported side plank. Stretch that left arm out over your ear. Nice deep breath in. Wave into the right palm and left foot. Hugging the left elbow to touch your right knee. Extend the leg straight out to fall in triangle. Exhale, left palm down. Find plank shape, top of your push up and move through your vinyasa or press right to down dog. Bottom of your exhale, lift your gaze to your fingertips, move your feet to your hands, inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, fold forward, inhale all the way up to stand, left side, left arm reaches forward. Inhale, sweep it up, and exhale, twist in the opposite direction, holding this twist, left knee to the right arm. Big step back, take your side stretch to the left. Inhale through center, exhale, side stretch right. Inhale through center, exhale, windmill your palms just around your left foot at the back of the mat, and move through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. Inhale, 
Inhale, sweep your right heel to the sky. Exhale, place your foot between your hands. Soften the left knee down, keeping the left toes tucked under. Room pressing to your right heel as the tailbone moves to connect with the pubic bone. So now leave your hands to interlace at your low back. Take a nice deep breath in, scooping the belly away from that front thigh. Upward flying energy of your low belly. Exhale, your palms just around your right foot. Shift your hips back. Find your variation of half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. Option to take the sit bones to your left heel and take the left hand to engage with the pinky edge side of your right foot. Turning to your left, dial the right foot flat, swivel on your left shin, gate pose, right hand connects with your right thigh, sweep that left arm out over your ear, spinning your rib cage to the left and up and really hugging up through those frontal hip points, like they're going to touch your heart. Exhale your left hand to the top of the mat, breathe in and sweep the right arm out over your ear, pressing down to your left palm and your right foot, challenge by lifting the left knee up to your right elbow. Inhale, stretch it out, fall in triangle. Exhale, both hands to the earth. Find your plank shape, moving through your vinyasa or right to downward facing dog. Exhaling all the air out. You can travel to your hands. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold forward. Big toes draw towards each other. Weight through your center of gravity, through your hips. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Scooping the belly away from your front thigh. Hands to your heart. Right elbow tucks to your left thigh or knee. In chair twist. Gluing the knees together. Challenge would be squeezing that right heel up towards your bum. Inhale through chair pose. Exhale, twist left elbow to the right knee. Gluing the knees together, squeeze your left heel up towards your bum. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward belly to your thighs. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Make your way through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep that right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to your right tricep. Taking a little bend in your elbows. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, place the right foot between your palms. Pivot the back heel flat. Inhale, up to warrior one, hugging the pubic bone up to the heart center. Exhale, sweep the palms back as you peel your left heel away from the earth, hugging the flesh of your outer hip in. Inhale, take the arms out over your ears. Push off your back foot and lift your left leg. Option to take your steeple grip, Kali Mudra. Slight downward spiral of your left thigh. Releasing your hands to the mat, bow over your right thigh, standing in splits. Exhale, tap the left toes to your left wrist. It might not get all the way there. Inhale, sweep your left leg to the sky. Start to hug the flesh of your outer arm bone in. Press into your palms. Slight bend in your right knee, big lift through the left leg. Jump and switch your legs. So if that's not part of your practice today, just switch the legs. Your right leg is lifted in standing splits. Exhale, take the right toes to your right wrist. Inhale, sweep that leg to the sky, outward spiral both thighs, and stack right hip into half moon pose. Pressing actively through the heels. Exhale, right hand to your heart in half prayer. Nice deep curtsy squat, right knee to the outside edge of your left ankle. Big step to the back of the mat in your reverse warrior two. Sweeping that left arm up. Exhale, palms surround your left foot. Moving through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your left heel to the sky. Exhale, knee to your left arm. Bend the elbows like Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, place the foot inside your left thumb. Pivot your right heel flat. Inhale, up to your warrior one. Pubic bone tugs up to your heart. Exhale, thunderbolt shape. Sweep it back. Pivoting your right heel off the earth. Hug everything into the midline, even your palms pressing towards each other. Big circular motion as your arms swim out over your ears. Steeple grip, Kali Mudra, right leg lifts. 
warrior three. Scissoring through the inner thighs, exhale both hands to the earth, bow over your left shin. Take your right toes to tap your right wrist. Inhale, sweep it up. Pressing the floor away, hug the flesh of your outer arm bone in, plug into the shoulders and jump, switch your legs. Right foot's down, left leg is lifted. Left toes, tap your left wrist. As you sweep your left leg up, outward spiral the thighs and stack the hips in half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Half prayer with the left hand, take a thumb to your heart and sink nice and low, crouch and curl. Big sweeping step to the back of the mat, stay low through your right knee, reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill the palms to surround your front foot. Moving through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. Coming back to explore all sides of the mat again. Feet move to your hands. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Just weaving this trapestry. Inhale up. Exhale, right arm comes in front of you. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, twist left arm in front of you. Hug the right knee to your left elbow. Take a nice big step back, side stretch right. Inhale through center, exhale, side stretch left. Inhale through center, exhale, windmill your hands to surround your right foot at the back of the mat, moving through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. Sweeping your right heel to the sky, breathe in, exhale, place the foot inside your right thumb, opening up the hips, windmill to your warrior two. Take a breath in, reverse your warrior, maybe with a half bind, left arm comes behind you. Snuggle the hands to interlace as you exhale, dive inside your right shin. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Press that right leg straight. Reach up overhead, catch your right wrist. Tuck the left hip underneath you. Turn your right toes in and set the right palm to the mat under your nose, extending up through your left arm. Revolved wide leg fold. Stay with me, bend your right elbow. Your head's gonna tuck behind your right arm towards you and the left hand's gonna grab your right ankle, peek up underneath your right arm. Maybe extend it out over your ear. As you release, crawl back to surround your right foot with both hands. Set the left knee down. Find your low lunge, breathe in. Exhale, shift it back to half splits. Inhale to gate pose, right hand to your right thigh, sweep the left arm out over your ear. Exhale your left hand to the top of the mat, breathe in, right arm reaches, supported side plank, weight into your right foot, extend that left leg out in front of you for fallen triangle, stay with me. Slide that left foot back a little bit, take a micro bend in your left knee so you can step onto that foot. You can use the right hand if you need to. Your left leg is going to make a big, or sorry, your right leg is going to make a big sweeping circle around towards your left hand. The right hand will reach to grab the pinky edge side of your left foot for grasshopper shape dropping the hips low, extending your left leg off the mat and out to the right side. We'll unravel it, left leg will make a big circle, big circle out to the left in front of you, finding your compass squat Nice and low, one or both hands to that left leg, which is extended out in front of you, you're on the right foot. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other like there's a block connecting them. Release down, inhale to bow pose, Navasana. Exhale, lower all the way down onto your spine. And we'll take bridge pose for this first back bend. Feet about hip width apart, snuggle the head of your shoulder underneath your body. Inhale, lift your hips up. And exhale, lower them down, hugging the knees into your chest. Rock and roll the length of your spine, find your forward fold. Big toes towards each other, bend your knees, sink your hips, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, twist, right elbow to the left knee, squeeze that right heel off the mat. Inhale to chair pose. Exhale, squeeze left elbow to the right knee and left heel off the mat. Inhale to chair pose. Exhale, fold forward belly to your thighs. 
Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, move through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. Inhale, right heel sweeps up and back. Exhale, knee to your right tricep. Bending the elbows, maybe floating your left foot off the earth in a bent knee. Kundinyasana. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, foot inside your right thumb. Pivot your left heel flat. Come up to your warrior one. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Thunderbolt shape. Inhale to warrior three. Steeple grip. Kali mudra. Exhale, fold over your right thigh. Standing splits, toes tap your left wrist. Inhale, take it up. Jump, switch the legs through handstand. Right toes to the right wrist. Send that right heel up, stacking right hip. Hug it on top of the left, half moon pose. Half prayer with your right hand. Nice deep curtsy squat, step it all the way back. Inhale, reverse, warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands to surround your left foot. Moving through your vinyasa. To downward facing dog. Breathe into your fingertips, feet travel to your hands. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold forward. Inhale all the way up to stand, we'll twist. Left arm out in front of us. Inhale, take it up, exhale, twist, right arm forward, left knee to your right elbow. Big step back, side stretch to your left. Inhale through center, exhale, side stretch right. Inhale through center, exhale, palms surround your left foot. Moving through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. back to your breath, just weaving this tapestry and getting comfortable with the unknown, with not really knowing what comes next. Inhale, left leg sweeps to the sky. Exhale, place the foot between your hands and mill up to your warrior two. Sweeping the right arm behind you for a half bind. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands interlace, dive inside your left shin. Inhale, all the way up to stand, press your left leg straight, reach up overhead, catch the left wrist. Left toes turn in, set the left palm to the earth under your nose. Revolved wide leg fold, right arm up. Exhale, sweep the right arm underneath you, duck underneath the left arm, right hand to the left ankle. As you release, move towards your left foot. Soften the right knee down. Find your low lunge, breathe in. Exhale, shift the hips back to half splits. Turning to your right, gate pose, left hand connects with your left thigh, sweep the right arm out over your ear. Exhale, right hand to the top of the mat and supported side plank. Inhale, left arm sweeps. Extending that right leg out in front of you, fall in triangle. And then slide your right foot back a little bit. Here's where it gets tricky. Step onto your right foot. Left leg will make a big circle around in front of you towards your right hand. Left hand comes to the pinky edge side of your right foot to try a grasshopper shape. Making another big sweeping circle with your left leg all the way around, sorry, with your right leg, <laughs> all the way around in front of you to your compass squat. One or both hands can grab your right foot. Having a seat on your bum and floating the left leg next to the right feet. Um, boat pose, Navasana. And then lowering down onto your back for bridge pose. Inhale, lift your hips. And exhale, lower down. Hug the knees into your chest. Rock and roll up to your forward fold. Bringing the big toes towards each other, bend your knees and sink your hips. Exhale, twist right elbow to the left knee, squeeze your right heel to your bum. Inhale, Utkatasana. And exhale, twist, squeeze the left heel to your bum. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Make your way to downward facing dog, vinyasa or not.
left heel sweeps up and back. Exhale, place the foot inside your left thumb. Pivot the right heel flat. Inhale up to Virabhadrasana A. Exhale, sweep it back to Thunderbolt, hugging the flesh in. Arms out over your ears, big swimming circle, steeple grip, Kali Mudra. Exhale, fold over your left leg, standing in splits. Right toes tap your right wrist. Inhale, sweep that leg up. Pressing into your palms, make a little hop, switching the legs. Left toes to the left wrist. Stacking left hip, hug it on top of the right, half moon pose. Half prayer with your left thumb to your heart. Nice deep squat, left knee to your right calf. Step it all the way back, inhale, reverse warrior two. Exhale, hands surround your right foot, making your way to downward facing dog. Inhale, right heel sweeps to the sky. Exhale, place the foot inside your right thumb, pivot the back heel flat. Inhale, up to Virabhadrasana A. Exhale, sweep it back. Right foot is forward, swim it out over your ear. Warrior three, steeple grip. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Tap your left toes to your left wrist. Plug into your outer arm bone, hop, switch the legs. Right toes to the right wrist, half moon pose. Hug the right hip on top of the left. Half prayer with your right thumb to your heart. Nice deep curtsy squat. Step it all the way back. Half bound reverse warrior two. Exhale, dive inside your left shin. Yoga mudra with your palms interlaced. Inhale, come all the way up. Catch your left wrist, sky archer. Left toes turn in. Set the left palm down and find your twist in your wide leg fold. Sweeping the right arm up, exhale, dive it underneath you, hold your left ankle with the right hand. Turning back towards your left foot, set the right knee down. Low lunge, breathe in. Exhale, shift it back for half splits. Turning to your right gate pose, left hand connects with your left thigh, tugging the hips up to the heart. Exhale, your right hand comes to the mat. Inhale, fall in triangle. Little bend in your right knee, slide that right foot back. So you can make a big circle with your left leg, taking it in front of you towards your right palm. Find your grasshopper shape, left hand to the pinky edge side of your right foot. Right leg will make a big circle around to our compass squat. Use the hands to help if you need to. Right leg out in front of you. One or both hands connect with your right foot. Release to boat pose, inhale. Exhale, lower down onto your spine. Maybe you're taking Urdhva Dhanurasana or upward facing bow. If not, come to bridge pose. Exhale, release down. Hugging the knees into your chest. Rock and roll the length of your spine. Find your forward fold. Drawing the big toes towards each other, bend your knees, sink your hips, find your chair pose. Exhale, twist right elbow to the left knee, squeezing the right heel up off the mat. Inhale, Utkatasana, reach up. Exhale, twist left elbow to the right knee, squeeze that left heel off the mat. Inhale, reach up to chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Making your way through your vinyasa here to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your left heel to the sky. Exhale, place it inside your left thumb. Pivot your right heel flat. Virabhadrasana A, warrior one. Exhale, sweep the hands back. Thunderbolt shape. Big circle, swim the arms out over your ear. Steeple grip. Warrior three, right leg lifts. Exhale, fold over your left leg. Taking the right toes to your right wrist. And then sweep that leg up. Pressing into your palms. Hug that outer arm bone in and jump, switch the legs, right foot comes down. Left toes to the left wrist. Hug the left hip to stack on top of the right and half moon pose. Half prayer into your curtsy squat. Big step back, reverse warrior two. Left arm sweeps behind you for the half bind, breathe in. 
Exhale, dive inside your right thigh, interlacing the palms. Inhale, come up to Sky Archer. Reach up overhead and catch your right wrist. Turn your right toes in. Revolved wide leg fold with the right palm to the earth. Inhale, left sweeps up. Exhale, tuck underneath your right arm, holding the right ankle. Turning back towards your right foot, soften the left knee down. Find your low lunge. Exhale, sweep it back, half splits. Gate pose. Left hand to the top of the mat. Ball and triangle, left leg extends out. You'll step onto your left foot, make a big circle with this right leg. Find grasshopper shake, right hand to the pinky edge side of your left foot. Pressing into your right foot, big circle, circle, sweeping circle with your left leg. Bring it out in front of you to your compass squat. Release your hips down, boat pose, not us. Lowering all the way down onto your spine for upward facing bow or bridge pose. Find the back bend here. Exhale, release down. Hugging the knees into your chest yourself space to just pause, to absorb what did or didn't happen, to see the beauty in your own tapestry of breath and movement. We'll be moved to all edges of our mat in a non-linear fashion. We stimulate some release through our right brain, some release of all of the emotions that you might be holding or resisting. into the unknown. Back yourself up to a seat. We'll take a breathing practice called Kumbhaka, Antara Kumbhaka and Baya Kumbhaka. It's breath retention at the top of the inhale and bottom of the exhale. Very powerful space to observe, to feel the connection, and to embrace the unknown. Resting your palms in your lap. Take a cleansing breath. Inhale. And exhale. Softly sealing your lips. Inhale. Go all the way up, let the low belly, the sides of the waist, the chest, right between the shoulder blades at the back door of your heart, everything fill up. And then hold and Tara Kumbhaka, hold the breath in. Two, three, four, five. Slow, steady exhale through your nose. Empty all the way out. Hug the navel into your spine via Kumbhaka. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, fill all the way up. Hold the breath in. Slow, steady exhale through your nose. Empty all the way out. Scoop the navel into the spine. Antara Kumbhaka, or sorry, Baya Kumbhaka. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, fill up. Empty all the way out. time. Inhale, fill all the way up. And exhale, empty all the way out. Let your breath return to normal. Let's 
slowly making your way to Shavasana, final rest. Allowing your body to absorb that mandala flow to give in to the unknown. To realize this beautiful tapestry of connection that exists between all things. Observing the flow of your breath comes in and out of the nostrils. Noticing the beautiful tapestry of life. Connection that weaves all things together. Seeking, slowly making your way over to one side. up to a seat, bringing your palms to connect at heart center, 
Going towards the tips of your fingers. Shanti, namaste.